to whip it good on whip it Sundays. Whip it not got Commodore and custom cannon. Yeah, you're done. Uh, might have some more pop in here later. Who knows? If not, we got plenty to work on. Never can tell with this lot. They come and go. Got the uh, Eric in the house, sector 2813. Welcome. Hello, Amazing. Probably shouldn't say his name. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, AK's here. Uh, Magma Field. Was it the uh, Bartholomew? Was what the Geek uh, Fusion was called? You <laughs> just gave you a name. I think I can get a couple of core names in that. Then Bartholomew? Yeah. Oh, no, offense, no. Nobody, nobody offense the name of Bartholomew, but... No, I don't think I know anybody with that name. Speaking of Bartholomew, I watched the Frailty today. Has anybody ever watched that? I have not. This is the first have... movie that Bill Paxton ever directed. Hmm. You good? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's very good. Like, shockingly great. That's good. Can't recommend it enough. Although it's like classified as a horror movie, but it's really not. <laughs> really not. Do, 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 do. A little bit, a little more finish sanding on this piece here. Put the first coat of red on the gauntlets on the face ghost. I need to smooth up the gauntlet on myself a little bit. Oh, that's weird. I'm also working on something for Space Coach. Oh, that's a coincidence. What a coincidence. I am not. I'm... Well, technically you did. You made the for head. shame. I'm working on a different space adventure. Who has lots of hair. <laughs> Oh, that's great. It's your favorite. I feel like uh, Name Withheld decided he, that they were going to troll me. <laughs> and so pick somebody with crazy hair. That's been a bit too. Nice this stuff. First coat of Red on here, I'm basically using the scratch coat so I can see the low spots. Once I sand, sand enough when those are gone, I know it's smooth. I uh, can't confirm or deny that name because it's a uh, uh, withheld. That's true. Sector two eight one three. I found Ram Man, Masterverse, and Neca uh, Strongheart in my target tonight. That's cool. That uh, Ram Man is a pretty good sized figure. I know the classic one was huge. No look, look at Cosmos Rosses. I have another Ross check. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you for chicken. Name of Hell City says he's sorry. Nah, that's all right. Yeah, well, we did something. Like you said, too, like once that's done, you'll have that in your library to use again in case you need somebody with. Is I need hair. somebody with big old hair. Yep, yep. Big old, big old hair. What? No, never mind. Let me just look at my phone since I can look at pictures on my phone. Do that now. What a crazy world I live in. Interesting technology right there. 
what was it do? I don't think I got the uh, the tip of this cape right. Well, uh, uh, now so, uh, he's the Snake Mountain still sitting over on my other desk right now, or next to the other computer. I'm planning on building some new shelves down here in the main collection room, and be able to display all my. Forge and stuff. I have almost everything. I need I need Lady Slither. I need Camel Con. And those two I mainly want Camel Con because I want the hooded hooded neck, the head for the regular uh Cobra Con. The regular Cobra Con don't come with the, the hooded head, which is stupid. To get the hooded head that goes for the regular con you had to get the camo con. I didn't know that, or I would have ordered the camo con. Now you can't get the camo con. I missed out on Lady Slither. I figured she'd be up a day, but nope. Last a few hours, she's out of stock. Because they're Masterverse uh, Mattel Creations exclusives. They're still available. You can order them. You can get the motherboard. You can get uh, the steroid. Uh, Evil Lynn, no, uh, no hormone steroid Evil Lynn, and get the uh, motherboard, they're still available. They've been up for months and months and months. Oh. If the origins sell out, they don't keep them more available. You think that they want to keep their more popular line? And or you can get your stuff, but no. Nah. I said, nah. It's just like that whole Ghost Rider 17 thing. Yep. I don't understand. Although I did get a line on, on one. Uh, oh, it's it's for, for retail, so. Uh, Sector, though, the Lady Slither and Cobra, uh, the Camo Con were many exclusive, uh, collector exclusives, unfortunately. Oh no, come back to me, baby. People don't want uh, those characters and revelations and uh, trash. Yeah, I'm not. the people uh, have really taken to the origin stuff. Not so much on the I, Masterverse. I think was the biggest letdown. Myself included. I would would have thought they would have retooled, did some retooling on their classics, gave them some you know, painless uh, restart articulations. The the swiveled uh, feet and stuff. Just upgrade them and release those, and they would have sold like hotcakes. But when they completely redid them in those weird, wonky proportions, nobody yeah. liked them. That's because they look off. They got peanut heads. Uh, their chest. They're not. Unfortunately, they don't have that V-shaped torso. They don't have a standard like a big like over muscular like bodybuilder look to them. They just look like muscular figures, but they're not the traditional He-Man look. But why would you not do that? I don't know. But seriously, they have all the tooling already. It's just they use some one, baby. That would have cut their cost too on like the line. Let's just do some minor retooling on different things. You think they kept the 
the uh, the tooling for the Masterverse stuff. Or the, the classics. Oh yeah, they use some of the some of the classics tooling, at least for like the armor and weapons for the uh, the wrestling He Man crossover line. Those use classics accessories, armor, weapons, and stuff. So all that tooling was around somewhere. Man, I hate, I hate digging these out. Yeah, the um, Mattel is one of those companies too. They went through several like CEO uh, uh, the past twenty years. One of the idiots they had there is why DreamWorks has the He-Man license for cartoons. He. And he's one that canceled classics and sent it to uh, Super Seven. I would hope he wouldn't have anything as stupid as actually dealing the molds, <laughs> but there's some stupid people in the corporate world. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they're off in their own little world, but really they're just in it to make money. They don't really care about anything else. Well, someone on your research line was like the was it uh, fairy tales or something like that. That's recently um, the original, the actual uh, owner of the property in DC were feuding because DC he had a fight he to try to just get the royalties he's owed for the using his characters and. Like uh, DC would keep like they were like running on the operation that they thought they owned them, and they were licensing them out from that guy. Mm. And they were do, so doing license to video game characters, uh, companies, which they didn't have rights to do without the original creator of the permission. And I, I got you hamburger meat. Like and he got finally got so fed up with it, he released it, released it to Fables. That's it. Name of said Fables. Um, he finally got so fed up with it, he released it to the public domain. They didn't have any fucking, you know, your sausage, the sage or whatever. They didn't have any. It was completely fucking empty. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, if anything, Masterverse is, you know, yeah, Masterverse is a huge downgrade from classics. Yeah. All the He Man figures have been like Hyperion body look to them. Uh, uh, yeah, I just don't like those. I have the monster characters, you can kind of fudge in, but the human ones, they look terrible. The proportions are all too weird. Uh, Sector 2813, you see the McFarlane logo and bikes, Amazon exclusive. Those are this variety. Uh, of course, it's an Amazon exclusive because. Amazon don't do anything to combat bots, so good luck getting it. I'm gonna try to get it because I like the bike. Which bike is that? Uh, they're doing a Lobo bike with Lobo build label. <clears throat> I haven't seen pictures of that at all. Uh, it's a seven inch scale. That's from McFarland. I usually, it takes a minute, you know, to drink the cup. Yeah, no competition. Toy tubers. There's the, the bike. Not bad looking bike. Yeah, looks good. Looks like classic, uh, classic logo head. And they didn't paint him like a clown this time. But even though it's a gold label, they still didn't paint the skin and the tight tears and the shirt, and they didn't paint the back of the boots. You get that, you're gonna get the platinum. 
You get two two heads. You get a uh, hair, long hair down hair down, and you get the classic spiked up hair hair and a guitar for some reason, which I have no knowledge of. Bubble ever played a guitar in the comics? Probably just reused from a bat metal or something there. Yeah, if I haven't received any word about it. All right. I like the dog. Yeah, I like the fact he comes with the dog too. Yeah, that's cool. Get my eyeballs back on. Uh, sector, uh, I sent to your IG too. Okay. Are the new uh, are the new cartoon origins figures exclusives? Might get the um, they're going they're replacing the, the the current line of origins figures. They're going for the cartoon ones, uh, and the rest of the toy origins are going to be unfortunately going to be Maddie uh, creative exclusives. Mattel creative exclusives, not Maddie. Maddie does like Maddie collector, which is. Was Digital River was a terrible company that posted their site. They could not handle the as long the years they had that, that up and run, they would never upgrade their system to handle the load they would get on the day of sales. Yeah, the cartoon figures look really good. <laughs> they've upped the base price on the Origins figures, but they've also upped, upped, upped the paint quality too. QT and paint quality. They're a little better. The paint was pretty sparse on the, the original Origins figures. They didn't even paint the eyes fully. They'd, was replicating the old uh, 80s toys where they just have like a black line and a dot for the iris and people. And the, eye, the whites of the eyes were just the flesh tone of the body. And the, but they were inconsistent. Some of them would actually have really nice you know, painted eyes. Yeah. I was like, okay. Hmm. I'm just wiped out tonight. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> okay. Do what? Uh, sent the message. Uh, we're working on the annual port templates, the new web templates we're using, which I got them done. Uh -huh. But our steady meeting Tuesday at 11 on Mondays for the, the comp team. But my cousin has a dot deal appointment at 11, which my dentist office, her dentist office, is like down below the hill here. Pretty close, but I have to take her. She can't go and play for by herself. Yeah. So I missed on Thursday about moving the meeting, which one of the ladies said, oh, gave her schedule about moving it, but never heard from uh, the com director yet. I sent them a link to the, the templates so they can look at them. Just filler content right now, filler pictures and Latin generator stuff. Yeah. So they can see how it'll look once it's filled up. Yeah. It's mainly to see the file structure how it works.
when Till could not handle success, they always throw uh, away some, uh, stacks of cash in favor of exclusives. Yeah. Uh, it was like the repaint of many faces. I had it. It was a exclusive to Amazon. Well, it was originally exclusive to Amazon. They got the first pre-orders. They ended up going up pre-order other places. I figured I got my pre-order on Amazon. I'm good to go. Nope. Amazon canceled my pre-order. And everybody else sold out. You got much better like paint job, like skin tone wise, not orange. Yeah, that first one they did with it was orange. Not the body suit, but the skin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kirker's having problems with his computer. Oh, is that what's going on? Yeah. What? Uh, socks. So you had to reformat my, my home office machine. So I understand it was messing up. Uh, you got to do that every once in a while. frustrating part is what uh, takes a while to get everything caught up where I can even install my Adobe Suite on just requires so many updates if you reformat. Oh yeah. It's not compatible with this version. You gotta install this you gotta install that this update. Had that problem. And yeah. Are they making go through uh are you on the cloud version of it yet? 
Yeah, I run actually the cloud version and the last disk version too. Because there's some things the disk version does I like better than the cloud. I got CS6 and the current cloud version. Yeah. I, I didn't like that they went to a cloud version. Or so they can gouge you for money every month. Yeah, or annually. Yeah. I like I like being able to own my programs personally. Yep. That's why you mostly use the uh, C six unless it's something new new feature I need. I do like their uh during the field stuff. I can do what a lot of what it does, but it does come in handy. Yeah. But I can just make a mask around something other and say remove, and it'll do what I would do manually. Yeah. With a clone tool or whatever. <coughs> yeah, it does, it does speed that up quite a bit. Maybe you could, you know, have that feature on a disc, you know, on the one that you actually own as opposed to having to pay for every month. Yeah. I do like the, uh, uh, when you work on any, on your, uh, document in Photoshop now, it does some stuff like Illustrator does, where it all uh, detects other objects and it, it can it gives you grid lines while you're moving stuff and move where it'll link to uh, where you can get stuff evenly across the screen. And it'll be like, hey, you got one something over here. Do you want to line up with the top or margin here or down here? Keeps from having to like, make grid lines and have to get rid of them and stuff. Yeah. But it's coming in handy and getting older. My eyes is not as good. I used to be able to just do it by eye and be even. It is, it's, a, it's still, a, you know, that's a difficult thing to do for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Lining stuff up. That's not, not incompetent, new, is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ta -ta. Okay, you still having a conversation. I just want to make sure I don't want to get on mute while he's having this conversation. <laughs> Debating if I need to put any more uh, epoxy. The back area here. Mm I've seen uh, McFarland's also finally doing a classic Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. How long has he had lasted? Three years? Yeah. Two, two, three years. And he's just now doing a, a traditional Wonder Woman figure. No death metal or alternate timeline, Flashpoint, or actually Wonder Woman. Sorry about that. 
No worries. I mean, you'd use it. Say. Yeah, and I, I was trying to be hush hush, but. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know if you have the conversation thing. I can't, but I can't really get to the, the mute all the way yeah. over here. And my wife's like, well, isn't your mouse wireless? I was like, you're right. I am a dumbass. <laughs> I think I heard a little bit. I was like, are we still talking? <sighs> so, you know. You know, I heard uh, Cannon say that he was beat several times. And I'm like, man. Same, brother. Same. Hang solo in the house. Uh, except you're, uh, her, yeah, well, Wonder Woman's knees are quite ugly, so on that figure. Yeah, they're not they're they're straight, they're fine. Are they, are they, uh, <laughs> are, are they Origins ugly? Of course. Because the, uh, the knees that came out on the first <laughs> Origin d was bad. These are worse. They're straight. They're fine. As soon as you articulate them, they're ugly. And the purple pictures have their over knee bit. Look, looks like something that uh, earned a R rating for horror in the movies. Eldridge horror. Hmm. Look at that beautiful knee. Oh, yeah, that's... It's, oh like, a rick, it's like a rectangle. It, what is... The, that's what, a work bottom of the thing. Yeah, that, that's not a funnel. There ain't no way he, he looked at that and he thought, Oh, yeah! Ship it! Apparently he did. No, 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 no. That can't... That... Yeah, the bottom of that leg looks kind of skinny, doesn't it? It does that, too. This is using uh, we uh, were talking about uh, Legion's Con, how we're going to handle that weekend. Mm -hmm. It looks like I'm going to go down on Saturday and come back on Sunday. So I'll be there both days. Nice. For both exclusives, if anybody changes their mind. I don't know what even the exclusive right now. Harker wants the one that's on Saturday, and I want the one that's on Sunday. <clears throat> Harker's having computer problems. That's why he's not on right now. I feel weird. But... While we're discussing. Uh... Legion's con, I was my, uh, reformat my office machine upstairs uh, last last week, week before. Uh, takes a while to get everything reinstalled where you can use, use everything. Looking at that cape, I'm worried about the the bottom of it looking like trash. Yeah, he's got a weird cape. I really don't want to. I don't want to mess that up. The space Ghost has a weird cape. Yeah, he's got like a uh, like a sound waves like looking bottom of the cape. Oh, the one with... Oh, you're doing the one that's all curvy? Yeah. Yep. I thought that was just an artistic interpretation. No, it's quite prevalent. It's every picture of Space Ghost that I looked up. And it was curvy. I don't like this. I need to change this. That one six scale figure is able to pull it off. That's a lot bigger figure. There's a lot bigger cape. Yeah, I thought sure. that was just like uh, 
I thought that was just it blowing in the wind. Uh, the two figures they've made of them, they did that with his cape. They made them. Yeah, I see that now. It's got that weird. I'm looking at the. Well, somehow is the. What is this one? The one that came with the, the monkey. Yeah, that one doesn't. Cool. That doesn't look like it's Kirby. It is. I had to figure. It is Kirby. Yep. I've had it one time. I got rid of it because it's a weird figure. It's, it's like true one twelve scale. Usually it's kind of small. I don't think those figures that figures in that line was ever meant to be in scale of anything. It's just they did like one off yeah. figures. This is what the inside of his head looks like. Yeah. Got noodle brains in there. I don't think my lamp is as bright as it used to be. I don't think my ring light above the workstation is what it used to be either. Of course, I don't know if it's the power button I rubbed a hole into it to like turn it on off again. Might be getting old. Yeah. yeah it fits in with the rest of us, dude. <laughs> there you go. Nothing wrong with old. Talking to my uh, newly minted 15 year old today. Uh -huh. I've heard like three years of being an adult. She's like, no, no, no. I said, run from it, hide from it. It comes all the same. Yeah. It's not on my side. <laughs> I don't know where Hulk smashes it. He's at home watching his tights. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. I think I just, just now figured out my biggest misstep on these little A-frame capes. What's that? Oh, yeah. Yes. It's kind of obvious when you think about it, but you know, as we stated earlier about the mouse, why well, yes, Carrie, I am a dumbass. You are absolutely right. What do you figure about the tapes? It doesn't need hard lines, it needs soft lines. Also needs this to be right. Mm -hmm. 
Name of hell, was it difficult to swap the butterfly joints on the Vulcan? Uh, actually, I can do that here in a little bit. Vulcan is just the heat and pop on the butterfly joints, right? Uh, you, you got to drill the bottom hole out a little bit to get, to get the get them back in. Coming out, very easy. Getting them back in, that's the tough part. I think we're gonna go this this uh, this side. Uh, uh, I think I round it to Dremel bit, like a spear bit, and bevel the the hole. Make it easier to get me back in. You still gotta get back up, get back in. Hopefully, loose collector stuff will be heavily accessorized. I'm hoping that they can start getting more orders where they can start to get their uh, cost down. The that would be nice. Sell, yeah, they'd be, they can get their stuff down to. Uh, a little more reasonable, they could dominate the market. But that's what people want. It's like independent stuff. I mean, he's got me by the nuts on that uh, Hunter Rose, man. I want that. Absolutely. Yep. Although I am concerned that it's not going to be better than mine. Because I really like mine. Do they have a uh, Kickstarter up for that stuff or anything? Not yet. Uh, it won't be a Kickstarter. It'll be a pre-order. Oh, they don't do... are you guys finding promo pictures for us someplace? Um, it's they, a grainy, grainy yeah, they put like a preview picture of like two incomplete blurry pictures. Oh, that's not. That's not what we want. Those dirty But, everybody, but everybody's already uh, guessed that it's going to be. Um, Hunter Rose Grindle, which Don told me that. And I saw somebody else mention uh, American flag with two G's. As soon as I saw that arm, there wasn't no doubt in my mind. I knew exactly what that shit was. American flag with two T's. Is that what you said? G's. G's. Oh. G's. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I was like, I don't. <laughs> I don't think there are any deeps in that one. In any of that. American. That could be as many as you want because it's American. What? what you remember that Rising Stars where all the people got superpowers because of the asteroids hitting the Earth? Uh, I heard about it, but I, I did never read that comic. And then the the story in the book was that the, the one of them, one of the twelve, or one of the however many there were that received powers, were killing the other ones because it increased the power level of all the ones involved. Yeah, I can see that happen. That's but the story. The reason I bring it up is because I think one of the figures, one of the characters' name was Flag. And he wound up having to change it because of some copyright issue. And this this flag guy 
and probably that uh, what all that was about. But I was young and didn't care about dumb shit like that one back then. You know that uh, comic book I sent you today? Yep. The 30-year-old one? Yep. You know, that was when I first started collecting comic books. It was right before, wasn't too long before that when I started. Uh, that uh, The Kyle Reiner comic. Yep. His, his second issue he was in was the first Green Lantern book I collected. I'll be right back. Yeah. After these messages. Oh man. The three day work week just it takes a toll on my old body. Mm-hmm. You know I got the Transformers will return after these messages. Sorry. What were you saying? I got two Grendel heads in that box right there. Because yeah. I have this fantasy of uh, making the tuxedo version. Yeah. I already still, I have a actionable plan for that so it's gonna happen it's just gonna take some time i uh name of hilda as his american flag isn't that comic incomplete i have no idea uh dollar store uh that dollar store final uh fraction comic was fun uh lots of diversity but the story was about the Alien invasion and how how diverse the team was. Not how the diverse the team was. Gotcha. My eyes are blurry. Did it blurry? Uh, Darth, party on Darth Hill, gentlemen. Hashtag with the crew. All right, I'm back. I desperately missed you. Now return to the Transformers. Search for us, leave two. Did I show you my skulls picture? It's kind of whack. Hey, that looks cool. It's a sticker. It's all psychedelic. Yeah, my wife didn't like it, but... Why didn't she like it? Because it's a skull? I don't know. I think it's, 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 too, it's too much. There's too much going on. The chrome and the colors and the... Got a little bit too busy for her, huh? You know this is special because it's number 69 out of the lot. <laughs> I, I bet if you go to try and sell that, it'll sell for more. Butterflies. I'm going to stick it on my truck somewhere. After the butterflies are hot, they come... The, the butterflies are put in while it was glued glued together so when you pull them out you can't really get them back in unless you modify the holes which they still need to be hotter than what they are right now drop this in back in the water and you got the other one Hey, Boquette Studios in the house. Hell, everybody. Hello, hey, hey, hey. uh, Corsairs has been disarmed and this leg shouldered. Just membered, uh, you know, all dismembered. Vulcan will be too. Looks like he wants to play some dodgeball, though. Can I get 
You ready to dive, duck, dodge, and dive? Or duck, dodge, dive, and duck? I don't remember what that was. <laughs> don't forget about dodge. Yep. Uh, Oldcat Studios, y'all watching the Giant Man figure uh, crowdfund? Uh, we've been keeping up with it so far. It looks like it's not going to make it unless they get a ton of overseas deals. Today. But yeah, I think it's a Christmas miracle if that thing gets funded. The the uh, giant man. F movies. What oh, what, what kind of that? Hasbro. Hasbro. Pulse. Really? So all are one. But I mean, really, for what all you get, I think two hundred is a good price. Oh, I think it's a great price. I'm just not that big a fan of Giant Man. Yeah. One. I already have the Toy Biz one, and, and if I got that one, I'd basically have to build a whole new shelf around that two foot tall giant. It'd be worth it. You walk in there, and be like, "Dang, that thing's cool." But and I got you walk in there, look at your Galactus, and think, "Dang, that thing's cool, right?" Yep. And I got, I got a lot of giants down here, though. That's what came off. His pass fell off. I just want a giant make a robot. I mean, come on. I want an Ultron. Excuse me, a. <clears throat> Not. I keep calling him Ultron. Not Ultron. Ultimo. Oh, speaking of uh, making customs, mm -hmm. that's what we do here, right? Yes, sir. I want. I need a destroyer. A what? A destroyer. Yeah, destroyer armor. Okay. I'm gonna hazard. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and make a uh, Iron Man custom. I've swore them off, and I promised myself that I wouldn't do it anymore, but... I had an Iron Man custom, and the base body is going to be that. I found Vulcan's ass. It filled the trash. Oh, no. <laughs> when I was slinging the water off of the trash can, I, it sounded like something hit the, hit the trash can. And like, sure enough. Oh, and I get looking at the things asking. Okay, what did I have to ask him about? There's a whole new meaning to dropped ass. Well, that's a nice little thing, though. <laughs> see how the, it's constructed, though. You can remove the waste. I don't know. I think it's the same old meaning. Well, that's pretty cool. They didn't must, they both not put much glue on this one. I don't see any glue on this one. That's kind of cool. You can see the glue running out the seams on this one. On the Corsairs. Mm. There's no glue on the Vulcan. Hey, that works. It worked for me. Think about making a cobalt man too. This is the bit that I use to enlarge the bevel that out to make it more round. You can see it's only round on one side. So it's got a little bit around. There's a different. Yeah, the holes are too small to feed the the mushroom peg back through. So you got to. Increase the bevel around that. Like that just zip around there. And while I'm at it too, this is the slot that that shoulder peg goes into. That hinders the back and forward. So 
can actually make this track a little bit longer a little more range without having to sacrifice the stability of the shoulder by snipping the pegs. Just drill bit to do that. How far down should I go? That's because it's easier than painting them. Yeah, painting butterfly joints are painting the butt. Uh, it would suck if it didn't fun. Uh, this is the uh, only one I actually set the back. Well, that sucks. Well, it's fun for you. I wonder if the classified waste piece would fit Vulcan. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting watching the, your take on the big figures part. Yeah. Hey. Slicing and dicing. Let's see. It's got until it's got till October twenty third, so tomorrow night at uh, midnight. And it needs uh, about two thousand five hundred backers still. That's a big ass. It's possible though with international uh, they add the international and afterwards. Do they keep their counts separate? Yep. They, they don't add them into the very end, the international stuff. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, no, Mr. Man. What is the... Uh... The percentage of 2,000 to 10,000. I can't hear you. <laughs> some, some assholes making noise. I thought that was called a Dremel. Yeah, somebody's got to run that Dremel. What the? A jackass. <laughs> but it was the Dremel making the noise, not the person. What? What percentage is that? Two thousand of ten thousand. Uh, that's twenty. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Well, it's well, it's twenty five percent, isn't it? Should have found it. Well, just add a zero. Right. Did I ever tell you guys that I was pulled out of school in the sixth grade? Let's see. And I do not have a high school diploma. No, I think you have that. Yeah, twenty five percent. So basically, they got to get twenty five percent of the fucking grand total. Yep. In a day. As the Albanian toad leave this and then and, uh, take a good walk. Good work. Oh, dang, it's bent. Why is that bent? So how, how about all them deer running around? Good God. Mm -hmm. I see them all the time, so. Man. On my ride home, I saw four. 
They that, start hitting subdivisions that are not seen. That wasn't running around, I should say. They shouldn't have waited to reveal the wasp figure. Yeah, that, that, that seemed like a desperation move, too. Cobalt Man is my short list on. I uh, just need to wrap base. Uh, middle yeah, yeah, I was. I saw a, a good picture of him today, and I there's a right base. I immediately it hit my brain, and I, I I can't remember which one it is, but there is a good base. When I figure it out, I'll put it in the Discord. I promise. It's a very slim, sleek design. I was going to look when I got home, but it's been a day. I understand. Seems like it was an Iron Man figure that I was thinking about. I can't place Cobalt. Cobalt to a man on my, my head right off. As a matter of fact, you know that the Cobra I sent you, he's in that book. Oh, the Dr. Doom book the cover? Recreating the, the Green Lantern and Emerald Twilight cover? Iron Man. Which version of Cobalt, man? trying to remake I think there's really only the one but at least not him oh, I can't I'm no, not I, I put you on full screen so we'll see <sighs> oh god uh, they're still tiny any better not much no absolutely not he ain't nowhere near that big that one right there. In the that middle, one? Like almost in the dead middle of your screen. No, nope, over one. It's, yeah, that's him. Just the head. Just the head? Click that one that's just the head, yeah. All right, now scroll down on the side over here. You should get, yeah, see there's a full picture. Left a little bit. Yeah, that one right there, that's a full picture of it. Oh, so what? So it wasn't Doctor Doom on the cover. It was Cobalt Man. I don't think he was on the cover. Oh, the cover that I sent you—that's Iron Man. That's oh. his uh, stealth armor. So you have the ten rings there. Is that what that is? Hey, yeah, that's that's what's going on in the story right now. He's trying to kill a uh, weapons seller. Mm. Spoiler alert: that guy in the upper is the guy that runs it. Master? Yeah. So he's he's like collecting all these weapons and he's selling them on the black market. How they get the Mandarin and greens? Tony Stark's like shit. Uh yeah, Mandarin's been dead for like ten years. So his rings were still out there and this guy, Spymaster, got them and he's uh because they're dead weapons. So he's like Man. selling them to the highest bid or whatever. And Six billion dollars later, Iron Man's the, the highest bidder. <clears throat> but he winds up giving them to that guy instead of Tony because you know bad guys are gonna be bad guys. But uh I haven't read the next issue yet. That was the, the last page of that issue. When they kill off Mandarin, gotta kill off Mandarin. But that's yeah, he, he, if you, I don't know if you remember or not, but he had those rings pierced into his spinal column. I didn't know that. Yeah, I missed that part of the comics. Yeah, uh, that was in the time when 
Obadiah Stane's son was giving, I think it was the Bleeding Edge Iron Man problems. Well, I guess they would have had to kill him to get the rings out then, huh? He uh, he wound up killing himself in one of those grand fashions where he almost kills Iron Man, but he misses and kills himself. Mm. Uh. The <clears throat> the hobgoblin self murder. Yeah, well, yeah, jump out of the way, glider impales him, kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a good story all the way up until the very end. That ending was kind of. They were like, "We got to end this storyline." Like in this issue. Yeah. It's like a, a movie with a uh, Jared Butler and Jamie Fox, where Jared Butler is the killer. And He's like super genius level, like killer to, throughout the entire movie. And they're like, how are we guys supposed to kill him? And it's like, feels, the ending feels really rushed. They find them through an anonymous tip. <laughs> like, that's lame. Oh, wait, that was Law Abiding Citizen, right? That's it. The, Man, I that, that. the ending in that movie was a joke. Yeah, it was like so rushed. It's like, you built this guy up to be a super genius, and like, he gets taken down by like an anonymous tip. Yeah, it's like that's. I saw that coming. And I was like, "There ain't no way." You see that coming eight years out, and then it fucking happened. And I was like, "Oh, well, I guess not." I remember seeing it in the theater, and I was like, "What the hell?" Like the kid, the guy became a complete dumbass at the end of the movie. The big guy. The not smart cop took out the super smart fucking guy. Yep. There he is. Uh-oh. There he is. It's about stinking time. Where you been? I figured trouble would wait trouble would wait a little bit before coming in. Oh, oh fast you know, family thing. Yeah. Oh, what uh, what thing? Oh yeah. yeah. I, I I just fell into my own trap. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. Family, 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 family. I don't have friends. I got family. Family, 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 family. I don't have friends. I got family. <clears throat> Did we play it now? Yeah. <laughs> Admiral Akbar is oh, yeah. uh, disappointed in you. We're not yeah, saying that it's a trap. It's a trap. We gotta have him on here too. Yeah, we can definitely have to look to see by getting that one out of too. <sighs> Give me a second. Let me step back to my room and look at that. That's bothering me. I'm here right now. Slowly working on stripping off the blue paint off the Vulcan. Wow. Tedious? Yeah. That's why I went in like, for Matt. It's like, a, uh, you want my Sunfire? It takes, it takes a little while to build those things out. Not Sunfire, uh, Solar. Here's, here's something that I want to ask. What? If I want to, to remove this paint from the chest and stomach area off of white, uh -huh. is that going to leave marking? I don't think it will. Yeah, because it's white it plastic, be right? Yeah. And you, you know offhand if his neck comes out too? It does. So I can easily get that red paint off of the the neck part. Yep. I can probably still do that with the neck attached because it's not like it's gonna take the the flesh tone out, right? Right. Uh, It'll be but I'd go ahead. Just, I would just go ahead and just pop the neck off with this. Take a blow dryer and hit it, and it pop right off. Yeah, it'll be easier that way for sure. That way you won't have no. 
uh, paint stripper hanging down the bottom of your cavity too. Yeah, one of the work on a little just a little project I had an idea of doing. So oh man, where's the weekends go, eh? Yeah. I'm going to keep still on from it. Can't have nice right. things, man. They keep taking their weekends. Yeah. Well, I give shit to a lot of drivers at, at work, uh, my co workers there. They always complain, you know, Monday comes along, where'd the weekend go? Oh, the weekend's never long enough, whatever. And then whenever there's a long weekend and there's a sign up to do like, uh, uh, you know, to work the stat holidays or whatever, these guys are all signing their names. And then I look at them and say, you guys complain that the weekends aren't long enough. When you finally get a long weekend, you sign your name for overtime. Yeah, I know. I'm like, well, don't complain then. I find Winter Newton to be stronger than the Mr. Hobby, uh, Mr. Color Thinner. Mm hmm. Oh. Thanks. So this says fam, family, families. <laughs> family, 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 family. I don't think the Mr. Hob uh, the Mr. Hobby thinner hurts the plastic like the Winter Newton too. Kind of neutralizes the Winter Newton. It cleans it up. It's cool. Winter Newton cut through the plastic for so much. But so far, the Mr. Hobby seems to be all right. I don't see from the plastic. Well, I finally broke down and watched the. Both the, the UK and the American version of Dirk Gently Holistic Detective Agency. Hmm. Uh, completely different type of shows. The, the American one's got a lot more uh, science fiction and supernaturals to it. And basically, a con man in the you, you one. And what show was that? Dirt Gently. Hmm. American one had like Elijah Woods as the one of the main characters. Uh, Hank Solo is saying that 112 scale G.I. Joe Killer Whale completed is better than I expected. Oh, nice. That's big. So I'm thinking that figure that I was looking at for Cobalt. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's a guardsman. I wonder They're what that plentiful. Iron Man, uh, sorry. They're plentiful. The Guardsmen. Uh, 
that Iron Man line is going to be pretty interesting to see. I, I like, I'm going to, if it's got that retro, uh, uh, like the old uh, Iron Man line with the retro cards, if they have those again, man, that's going to look so cool. What's going on? I think they're going to have the Prometheus armor in there. I missed the something. What's going on? You remember that link I sent you yesterday? Uh, yeah. Rectangular? You sent, me, you sent me 50 links. <laughs> no, no. They're on the... Uh, on, on Messenger, there was the, uh, it was Rectangular's uh, new list. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, you go back and look then, because uh, I, one of the things I had to send it to Don, I was like, yeah, you know what? It's a new. He's saying that supposedly one of the things is an Iron Man comic book line, and it's on the retro card. So you know that artwork and that just like that old that nineties. Uh, Iron but Man line, got, that was so cool. They got the card already from the uh, Pulse exclusive. Yes. So, so I figured, I, I kind of figured they ended up doing some more on that card. I was hoping they'd be like a Mandarin. Well, it's a comic book uh, wave, so we've already got iron, a, a couple of Iron Mans and, and a more machines, so it can only be other characters from here, right? What do you think, Don? You're the Iron Man guy. What do you, what, what do you think that they're going to give us? I think, uh, like I said, I think the Prometheus armor is going to be one of the Iron Man armors. Mm -hmm. And... You know, you know what would be nice? A proper Silver Centurion. No, that ship is sailed, baby. You mean instead of a white one? Oh, well, white or, silver centurion. He's pink, pink and white, and pink and silver, depending on which one you get. Wow. Yeah, that that ship has sailed. I you don't have, I have that hot rod red. The he should be the same color as the twenty twenty Iron Man. Yeah. Oh. That color red would have been perfect. How many figures did he say it was going to be? I don't know. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if one of them is going to be uh, Heroes Reborn. Well, that would be a nice one too. Yeah, that's the Prometheus number. Is that what it is? Okay, and it's got to yeah. be a couple of baddies. I know they're going. They got to give. They got to give us I, an updated man. I am like ninety-eight percent sure that's going to be in that line, but for the I other really figures. The Heroes Reborn is called Prometheus? Yep. I didn't know that. Prometheus armor. One with all like the cables and stuff, the muscle strand looking one. Yep, yep. That one. Yeah, he's got those blowers coming out of his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parts. What about House of M? That's my, uh, it's been on my screen for a while. This is on my other screen. That's nice. Nice, cool pictures, man. Send them to me. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't worry. They're not going to take the place of Hulk because my screensaver is so. I just like having cool pictures of the characters. We're due for a new uh, comic book Hulkbuster. Yes, very much so. I wouldn't mind having the World War ah the World War Hulk version, that big thing that only lasted a couple of seconds. <laughs> you want the Hulks? Trade it. I wonder why Tony created those Hulkbuster armors. I think it's just to cause a distraction. So for a few seconds so he can get away he uh he's got a buster armor for just about everybody he had a phoenix buster armor a thor buster armor the hulk buster armor oh that would be a good that would be a good one to get a new buster. one the thor buster yes because we got that toy biz one only which still holds up yeah the only thing bad about that one is the ball hips 
Yeah. And the head's small. The hands are fucking monkey. Oh, name of hell says that they should make a sentry. That would be a good one too. They, that was on the card at line. Sentry. The um, he took the place of Wonder Man for a while in, in the comics. I gotta look him up. I the name sounds familiar. I just can't picture him right now. But yeah, um, you know, what the name? Uh, Sentry who took over. What, which which Avengers team was he on? West Coast Avengers. Oh, the gray guy with the uh, yeah, with the, the, yeah. the alien. Yeah, he was kind of like a mix between Wonder Man and Thor. They, they killed off Wonder Man like in the first issue of that version of uh, West Coast Avengers, and they brought in Sentry to basically take his place. New character at the time. That's Old character now. Old character now, 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Don had to remind me, like, well, that story took place 31, 30, 31 years ago. But I don't want to know that. Yeah, it's uh, I'm not fine. Yeah. I must not be looking up the right thing. Was he an old guy? Yeah, kind of. The artwork kind of makes him look like. Yeah, he, he he looked like an old guy. Yeah, it's century, like a hundred years century. Yeah. Not century, like this dude. Yeah. Walking around. Oh. Making sure the law is. About it. He needs to stop scratching his eyes. Yeah, Namus also says he was in the cartoon. Yeah, he was predominantly in the cartoon. I think that's where he got any acclaim. Uh, man, hopefully, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice if uh, to get a Mandarin, but I mean, if they're going to do that Toy biz, man. They, <laughs> that rubber, that rubber uh, would, robe did not work out well. I would assume they're going to do the. See, they made it, all those characters were in the that Iron Man toy line, that toy biz, yeah. old toy biz uh, toy line. I will on the bet they'll be formed from that line for inspiration for characters to do. Yeah, the century was part of that toy line. But so was the Mandarin, Mandarin. the green skin the, Mandarin. It was too. Yeah, but just as long as it's not the robe version, because unless they're doing soft goods, there's no way they're gonna pull out that robe. It'll be a traffic cone. Exactly. Yeah. I just got rid of mine, uh, my toy biz one. I got rid of it and I put him on a different body. I made it look like he's uh, basically like a ninja armor Mandarin. I was looking at uh, Mordo from the Mom movie, Multiverse of Madness. Can you think about that toy? Which one was it? Mordo. This is the mansion from the cartoon. This, and that's what the way the figure looked too. That's doable. Yes. So you've, uh, got, you've got a loin uh, skirt and like a samurai skirt loin yes, it's oh, piece. silver, silver uh, samurai, but bigger. Hopefully, although he's not that big of a guy. Yeah. And as soon as you said that, I found a picture of him like oversized. <laughs> yeah, well, where, he, where he grew. Well, I think silver centurion would be a good size if they're going to go for a samurai armor. There they are in the cartoon. You got a 90 Scarlet Witch and uh, Julie Carpenter, Spider Woman in it. We haven't gotten one of her since Toy Biz, have we? The what? Scarlet? No, um, Julie Carpenter. The, the, the uh, Julia Carpenter. We've had two of those. We had uh, one that was one of the figures I uh, 
upgrade it with the spinnerette parts. Yes, yeah, never mind. I have her. <laughs> that uh, NF5 pack that Don got. That's what I want to get. So yeah, that, that and the Toy Biz one. Okay, yeah. Sorry, my bad. I got I got the single card release. Yeah. I gave her an uh, arm and leg upgrade. Oh yeah, spinnerette for sure. I'd like to, uh, the new 2020 armor. I'd like to have a representation of that. I think it's a nice looking armor. Did you know that the war machine that's currently in the books is, uh, the Close. Civil War armor from the movie. No, no, I didn't know that. Or the Age of Ultron, anyway. You have That's a message. That's exactly what, the, what the armor in the comic book looks like. My big sis got family here. I don't have friends. I got family. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, take a break from stripping. I'm going to go ahead and modify this uh, Corsair's torso to put these uh, Vulcan butterfly joints in. <laughs> so I'm going to take that rounded bit. So, uh, you know you've been stripping. Yeah, how long have you been stripping, man? I hear that's bad on the knees. <laughs> well, I got bad news, Dom. I can't find that shit on my phone. So I thought I could, like, Google it up real fast. I can't find it. Yeah. Apparently, it's a holdover from... Like a phone ago, you know how it like automatically transfers. Yeah, unless you take a screen grab. I think he used the drum lane to tone to tune us out, so he didn't have to answer. What about his new career as a stripper? Who? We asked you how long you've been stripping. Uh, gotta pay the bill soon, you know. The economy's off getting bad, man. I asked him for a stripper. Boltcat says I got lucky a few weeks ago. Hey. Oh, okay. okay. I gotta, I gotta finish that. I got lucky a few weeks ago. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the Guardians of the Galaxy comic set. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty lucky, too. Giggity. <laughs> you want to open up these uh, bottom peg holes in the bottom. Uh, this enough, you don't want to go too big where the stuff won't, uh, peg won't stay in. So when the torsos are glued together, these are already inserted. When they glue it together, that's why you can't get them back in unless you make that hole bigger. Ah. Uh. That also makes it looser, I guess, right? Uh, well, the this is what keeps it tight, actually. Oh, okay. Along with the other pegs, they snap in that channel. Snapping in that channel. Heat it back up now. It's easier to pop in, right? If you heat it? Yep.
Come here, dull tool for flipping out stuff. I tell you guys, I got my first commission for a uh, an actual human sized thing. No, yeah. Oh yeah, I good. I got all the the fabric and the deadline today or uh, Friday. That Guardians of the Galaxy comic set. That's nice. That's a good set. That's one that's got the uh, really good uh, Gamora. They put a poncho over the hider like beads. <laughs> and that's the that's the mean looking group uh, version, right? Him as it's the, the builder, it just got a different hat. And the Gamora is on the Moonstone body. Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, Star Lord's on the uh, AIM Ghost Rider body. Yep. That's the same Star Lord as the uh, Thanos FTC. imperative set, right? Yep. Okay, I got that one packaged still. I don't like that. Taking a flathead screwdriver, pushing it down into the cavity. All right. I think that worked out just right. I couldn't have done that better if I'd have been trying. Oh, God. So it's the guy that sold him that Guardians of the Galaxy set uh, really took care of, of it. The whole set looks brand new. That's good, man. That's awesome. Hey, you got a good deal on it? Wow. That's very sought after. Yep. And he makes those holes a little bit bigger. Better price than it was for others. The others were 400 and higher. Wow. Yikes. He got mine for half. Oh, he got his for half, he says. That's a great deal. 200 bucks? Um, what is the con, Don? Do what? I said, when's the con? Uh, three weeks. It's uh, the 11th. Oh. So it's not this coming weekend, not next, but the... Three weeks? No. The next time I clean up the fridge is the 4th, so it's the week after that. <laughs> Your calendar uh, revolves about like when you clean the refrigerator out. Uh, well, at work, I clean it every Saturday that I work at work. So ah. it'd be I work this Saturday, so it was two weeks from now. It's the week after that. You get a lot of people get are upset that you clean out the fridge, then they leave their stuff in there. Uh the first two times that we did it, I got a lot of. A lot of smoke, but uh, they have adjusted and just. But you know what, though? Like, even my wife, my wife at work, she throws all, 
kinds of shit out that some people leave in the fridge, okay? Now, there's signs that the people know that the fridge is going to get cleaned. Yet, you know what they'll leave in there? They'll leave, like, just say, a, a, a nice coffee cup, you know, those see-through plastic ones. And meanwhile, you could, there's probably only, like, a, a sip or two left in there, and they'll leave it in the fridge. And then she'll throw it out, and then the next day they'll go up there, oh, did you throw all my, uh, my iced coffee? You, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, there was like only like a couple sips in there. First of all, she's like, yes, anything left in the fridge after a certain date, we're throwing out. You don't want it. You don't want to throw it out. You take it with you. You know, it's just like. So we used dumb. to, we used to just, it was willy nilly, whatever, however, whenever, you know, and then the refrigerator would get to smelling so bad. And we're just like, okay, well, finally, you know, we're just going to. We're going to clean it out. Mark the stuff you want to keep. Otherwise, it's going to get thrown away. Blah, blah, blah. We did that several times. But we hit a breaking point where there were some strawberries that were left in there so long that you could barely tell they were strawberries. It was just all mold and shit. And nobody wanted to own up to it. So we implemented the new. It's not your refrigerator. If you're not here, it goes home with you. If it's left here, it gets thrown away. Oh, 100%, man. So that, and that initially was pretty rough. <laughs> but, uh, because I'm telling you, we, we throw away, you know, those, uh, trash bags that you put leaves in, huge. We filled up one and a half of those. That's a lot. Yeah, our the our yeah, one fridge out of the fridge. The custodial come in and was pissed. He's like, "Dude, that shit was heavy." Like one one fridge, a bag and a half, bag and a half. That's a lot nuts. of a lot of glass and Tupperware and and stuff. That thing was loaded down. We pulled out all the shelves and took it to the bathroom and washed them all with soap and water. How could you even find anything in that? We fridge? had the. Uh, we had to scrub it with like uh, uh, razor blades, you know, scratch stuff off that had been grown to it, to the shelves. Dude, my, my, my wife would just throw it straight in the garbage, Tupperwares and all. Yeah, we did. We just throw in Tupperware, Tupperware and all. And, and you know what else? What else did she, uh, she was doing too is that people were, they, they used to have plates there. For people who wanted to warm up their lunch rather than warming it up in a plastic container, they could use a plate. They had cutlery there because there's a dollar store just next door to them, and they sell like good quality glass uh, cups, mug, coffee mugs, plates, uh, cutlery. They got everything there, so they would go out and buy like uh, enough to you know for for everybody to use it. And rather than wash it and put it away, because they also got dish rack from the dollar store. No, you know what they do is they eat and they leave it in the sink. Like her at home. So, like like uh, somebody's going to watch it for them. Yeah. Like that's they're a nasty exactly. person and they're at home. So, yeah. And you know what, though? My wife talked to the to the manager and she said, you know what? I'm not washing people's dishes. I'm sorry to say. Uh, and you know what the boss said? Throw everything away. People want stuff. They can bring it from home. And if they, if they bring it from home, most likely they'll end up washing it. So people actually did bring stuff from home guess what they were doing they were leaving into the sink again so guess what the boss tells my wife throw it in the garbage so then people are complaining hey i brought that from home so wash it and bring it home with you like seriously yeah that's disgusting man we try hard not to throw anything away until like the drop dead point we'll move stuff around and put notes on it like you know get this shit out of here we're gonna throw it away oh that was all done that was but on the, the Saturday that you know it comes around, that, that's that's the drop dead point. If it's nope. still in there on Saturday, it's tossed. Yeah, they're both back in. You got the Vulcan butterfly joints into the Corsair. Oh, that looks cool! Really nice. You pop these arms off and put these arms back on here. Yeah, I got the Vulcan that uh, they got here. They didn't glue the waist. It came right off. Wow. 
So if you're just going to do a color change, it'd be an awesome figure to do it with. <laughs> but I need this one to be red, so. Swapping around here. Yeah, they were, they were complaining like, that's my meal if we get stuck here. It's in the freezer. We were like, hey, this is not your storehouse. So the, the first Saturday we threw away a bunch of stuff and the second Saturday we threw away a bunch of stuff, but it's been pretty much towing the line since. It was absolutely spotless this weekend. I found out a toy of the MCU War Machine armor. What would be a good one? Repeat that. Uh, presentation. What was the question? Sorry. The MCU War Machine. Good like, figure. Uh, Age of Ultron one. The Age of Ultron one. The that's the thinner one, right? Yeah, I think that's before he got the. Uh, Yeah, I remember uh, this. Back, I, think, I think there's a new one coming out, aren't they? Yeah, because the one the one in the Stokovia, that was the same one, the, the, the slimmer armor that they used on a lot of the Iron Man figures. <clears throat> I, really, I really like Iron Man 2, the, the war machine that we had there, but it's so small, that figure. Yeah, the okay. War Machine armor in the second movie, the second Iron Man movie, is the best looking War Machine armor I've ever seen. I, I, that, you know what? And I'm kind of glad they used that for the Punisher armor, but it's just too damn small. Like, I, I like the the bulkiness of the uh, Endgame uh, War Machine armor, but, but I wish. The, the second Iron Man movie figure was that big, with the with the same look uh, as that. Oh wow, that was a beautiful armor, man. <clears throat> Is everybody all called up on the uh, Loki? No, I haven't even watched an episode yet. <laughs> We're, we just watched episode two today. Oh, is it, is How it many good? Are there? There's, There's three, right now. three episodes. Well, there you go. They're doing a new Civil War one. I like it a lot. I thought they, uh, uh, well, they were doing it. When does that come out? Is it January, out right? 20, January 2024. Yeah, that's the one with the uh, banner figure, the Black Widow. No, this is single, that's single carded. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what I mean. That's gonna gonna be the new. Uh, it's in the same wave as those. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's, uh, good. that's 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 great news for me. It's a bulkier body too, so not that real skinny one. That looks terrible. Yeah, that one's good. That was the one that the uh, Punisher was released off. Yeah, this one's the. Mark three war machine, I guess. It's got a nut zero three on the arm. Yeah, Mark II was a skinny one in uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah. This was the big one from Civil War. I remember that. And they released the Punisher, uh, the concept Punisher one on that same body. Yeah, this is all new mold here. It's a redo.
I still wish they redid the. Uh, they need to redo three figures, in my opinion. They need to redo the very first Iron Man armor from the movie, the cave armor. They need to make that bigger. The they need one, to redo yeah. uh, the Mark. The Mark. Uh, I guess it's Mark One War Machine from Iron Man Two, like we yeah, were just talking right. about. And they need. They also need to redo Captain America, the very first figure. The World War II version. That thing was such a crappy figure, and they released it twice. They yeah. need to redo that, man. That was a beautiful. I love that figure. Just the idea of that figure with that armor, but not what they gave us. Yeah, the first Avenger suit was my favorite Captain America suit, and we have yet to get a good figure of that. Yeah. The f- they haven't given us one. Sand in the paint a little bit, so that lets the paint stripper work a little better if you sand it a little bit. Break did, down did, you, paint. did you get either of those releases of that Iron Man figure? I bought the, the 10th anniversary two pack with Tony Stark in his business suit. Then I sold oh, yeah. the armor because it's it was the it was just a reissue of the original figure from back, way back when and which was at the time was true 112 scale line so it's yeah. teeny tiny no, the no, figure that. started out true 112 scale they yeah. creeped up i don't have any mcu armors except for the mark three with uh what's his face the iron monger That's it. The only, the only MCU I'm so stuff. So glad they redid that Ironmonger. That Ironmonger, that first release from the movie, those are so small. I'm glad they yep. they redid it. Oh, we got yep. SDA in the house. He says, "Family, family, 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 family." Welcome, welcome. And Juan Toys and Bricks as Cobra. <laughs> yep, yep. That's what the uh, Karen's working on. Cobra, Cobra. Hey, what's up, SDA? The Aces Collector Express. Oh, hello, hello, sir. Yeah, not bad for a C tier superhero, you know. Cobra was one of the best anime series from the eighties. That's from Toys uh Juan Toys and Bricks. I've never seen it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I never got to watch it either. I've never seen it either. With the, I recognize the character since uh, once looked it up, but I don't know. I've never watched the anime though. I know the uh, the character by looking at him. I've seen him, but I've never watched. No, I'm guessing he's got like a cybernetic arm. And he's gonna switch out or cover or over top of it. He's got a gun arm. Uh, one says R.I.P. Buchi uh, Terasawa. Artist or voice actor or, or animator or director? Yeah, probably something to do with the show. Hey, Don. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I still haven't got around to taking pictures. I know you want to 
pictures of what you sent me. Yeah. Yeah. I want to wait for you to post it first, though. Yeah, like I said, man, it's just, it always seems like there's not enough, not enough hours in the day, man. I want to try to set up at least, a, a, you know, nice, just, even if I could just set up a spot, just to take a couple of pictures that, that I want to, I want to do the, you know, the, the characters justice, obviously. I'd like for them to redo the uh, ultimate armor. Y'all remember that one? The ultimate armor? Yeah. Psycho. Uh, uh, is it like the uh, the Marvel Select made that made that version? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's the, the armor with the big base, right? The Marvel Legends version is trash. I mean, oh no. Pure that trash. They needed to uh, take a page out of Marvel Select's book. They have to uh, do that base. Oh, yeah. Gucci Terasawa was the creator of Cobra. He passed away a month ago. Oh, that's sad to hear. That was creator of Okay. Uh, What are Uh, your favorite uh, figures of the year so far? Hmm. Hmm. So which line? But I want to say overall, uh, steals a great figure, action figure wise. Transformers, I don't know. Shapiro's Thane is good. Yeah, I think. Uh, I really, be, I think it, it'd probably be a little more fair to have categories because there's a lot of stuff coming out that's good. Yeah, Mafex. Steel is by far the probably their best looking figure they've done. Yeah. And uh Cyborg Superman was done pretty well too, I think. Yeah, that, wasn't, uh, that was last Steel, year. Steel puts him to shame though. <laughs> oh, was that last year? Yeah. He's not on the white shelf. He's on the black shelf. Cyborg was good. Cyborg was very. It's it is a damn fun. I, I really like yeah. that. look at that. I like the fact that they didn't WB it and get rid of his guns. You know what though? A lot of these smaller companies though, they're, they're starting to put the bigger companies to shame though. Like when you're taking these guys like Zezre and uh, you know like some of the stuff like those Minotaurs, man, those things are crazy looking. I'm very um, tempted to get one of those. Uh, what about Joe's? Have any of the Joe's blown you guys away? I don't have any. The Mezco Ghost Rider is good. I like it. Oh, yeah. I've seen how I've had to fix every Joe comes out right now. None's really blowing me away. Yep. And like Lola, one of my favorite characters. And I got to buy a snow job just to get his proper goggles. I had to touch up paint and I took off the silver paint off that buckle because it looked ridiculous. But other than that, it's fine. You're fixing pretty much every. Marvel and G.I. Joe figure you, you open up. Just about. I like both of the Iron Man armors they put out this year. Tiny, head, tiny head, tiny hands, McGee. The Heroes Return and the uh, First Appearance. Extremist. Oh. Uh. Yeah, the Model One that. was this year too, but I like those two better. The well, Mark One has got a tiny head and tiny hands. I saw this guy. He he like lengthened the neck peg, like got it up all, out of the body, and it does look a lot better. Still it really helps. The head is still too small. Maybe Corey or somebody is gonna enlarge it. I saw somebody put a. Uh, putting a bigger head on one that looked a lot better. Uh, 
Uh, Xavier Fresh says, big shout out to the Collector Express team. Shout out to Cannon, my brother. Can't wait to see how the ninja feet came out, bro. Uh, I'm still working it. on them. Whip it shows are the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. I can't remember. I think it's the voodoo skeleton I like the best. Hmm. Out of all the skeletons I've gotten this year. And let me assure you, I have gotten a few. It's not bigger, but the Snake Mountain's pretty cool. Gordon's yeah. Open it up Friday. I think it's pretty impressive for any buck, buck play set. Uh, no. No. Jesus. Duke and Cobra Commander isn't out yet. Uh, it's Kulu World Skeleton Figure. K-U-L-U is the good, my favorite skeleton of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Spectre says Master Wang Tiger and the Werewolf Furry. Oh, yeah, no, right. I, I, I haven't got those, but uh, they look really good. I That's like I've what he was talking about. The, the smaller toy lines putting out some really cool stuff. That, uh, that uh, bird god demon thing, I'm going to get. That's a small company. And, that's going to be perfect to make a room, ultra-rich room. Oh, SDA says I read Void Rivals 1 to 4 and Transformers 1. It's okay so far. No, I've, I've still got to pick up my copy for the Transformers number 1 from my buddy's shop. There's been a lot been going on. I haven't been able to get by there. What else is coming out this week? We've had the Joe Fix Hulk. We had the Captain uh Bucky Cat redo 2.0. I do have that five pack Centurion Iron Man on my white shelf. Mm-hmm. The white silver centurion. Mm-hmm. It looks like the red's the same color as the previous release, is it? It, it catches a lot of heat. Yeah. You want me to go get them? I'll stand them beside the side. I always thought the other one would have too much of a pink hue to it. neutralizing my stripper i was using a q-tip that i dropped in uh uh super clean mm -hmm. i was putting it in the windsor newton it's like it was basically neutralizing when it hits the super clean so like, why is it just still <laughs> popping off there we go now it's true i have returned i'll make your screen big The white centuria. Is this red a little richer on the new one? It is 
Very close. Very close. It is very close. If anything, it's just shinier on the new one. Yeah, I was thinking it's shiny, but couldn't tell the difference in the color. On your camera, the red looks good, but in person, I think the the Walgreens one looks pink. You can see where his hands are a different color. Oh yeah. Too bad the whole the whole all the red wasn't that like it. She had red on them hands. So the, the white one is from the the white one is from the five pack. Yeah. Because I don't have either. I don't have the Walgreens one. You were saying uh, the the Walgreens one looks pinkish red. Yes. Okay. That five pack was on sale during Prime Days last week. I think we had different sales according to uh, U.S. and Canada because we had a few things on sale up here. I wish they knew the neck where they did it on that figure. Yeah, that is not the best, but I don't mind it. Well, they could have made the neck two pieces. They could have had it recessed like that, do like a G.I. Joe, and have the head and neck and had the base ball, ball joint the base of the neck so that we would have had the best of both worlds did you not we would have had sure? the thick stocky neck but you could still look up for some reason i remember you fixing yours you did that right yeah uh, i tore that one apart and i was going to do it for a custom later <laughs> yeah i remember that jeez <laughs> now i remember yeah you yeah, it's in pieces. It's in a. It's in baggies around around my workstation here. I mean, the, the big complaints with this one is like the shoulder pads aren't don't don't jut out enough. Yeah. And now, if we could have got that one in Marvel Legends scale. Would have been awesome. That's I don't like this one. You don't like it? Collect? No. He's he's like my desk guy. He just sits here and looks pretty on my desk, but I would not never put him on a shelf. That's the Marvel Select. Yeah. Why don't you like it? His articulation range is uh, junk, and anytime you like move, because they're all single joints. Anytime you move any of his joints, they 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 start gapping up pretty terribly. Although his head is right, you know. The uh, the neck is uh, not connected to his head at least he's got uh he's got marvel legends style lip, uh, hips now not like those t that t crotch thing but uh that candy apple red is compelling without a doubt yeah, that's the color he should the marvel legends one should have been yes if well, they definitely... could have fixed that neck and paint in those colors and make the shoulder pads a little bigger It'd be perfect. I wonder if there could be a collaboration between the Select and the Legends. Yeah. Two different companies, they'll never do that. Oh, no, no, I mean a customizer. Oh, you mean a combination custom. Mm-hmm. I'm digging the... I, I wound up and had, like, three of these at one time. Mm. Let me get some of these comments here. Uh, Cheapskate Toy says, yeah, third party doing great this year. Uh, yeah, they Fury are. made some great figures. Mm -hmm. That orc, I don't know who makes that orc from 5K Toys, but I really dig it. I wound up and bought some clothes for it. And I'm telling you right now, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. The orc? Yeah, the orc. Yeah, that thing looks good. That orc. You My buddy orc? bought one up, up here. Well, you know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll, excuse me. I'll take these back and bring it in here and show it to you. Um, 
Mammoth holds us. The the creator of Cobra also made another comic uh, called Goku Midnight Eye. Uh, Cheapskate's asking if anybody, anyone think that Haslab is going to fund? Only if there's a ton of overseas sales. I don't see them getting 2,500 U.S. sales. If they're, they always hold back the international sales near the end. They'll put them in tomorrow. Yep. 7,500 backers and they need 10K, right? Yep. I think it's way too many backers need it because they they're all already over a million dollars. And it's just, even though, the, yes, the hands are super articulated, but other than that, the rest of the figure is just an oversized Marvel Legends. So. Oh, that's badass, Don. The engineering is not all that much more. They've, they've got two giants already in place. Yeah, they got to redo yeah. the knees and stuff and make them ratchet and stuff. I know it's more than just a oversized Marvel Legends. It's just a not perfectly well, but to me definitely. at two hundred bucks in size, he even got slippers. He should have been a retail figure. That is crazy. Yeah, oh, wow. you're right. You're right, collector. That 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 could have been a retail figure. They do two hundred dollar Titans all the time for Transformers. Yeah, that's, twice a year. I think usually about twice a year we get two tight, uh, Titan, once or twice. I think, I think their greed for this one to be a, a a back a backup is, you know what? They should have just thought about it. I, I, I'm pretty sure for that money, a lot of people would have bought it right off the shelf. If it, well, if it was a pre-order, they probably would have had more than ten thousand pre-orders right now. Probably yeah, because people are getting tired of. Yeah, two hundred dollars is not a bad price, but I'm mean, you got my two hundred dollars for a year, over a year. Yeah, his name with L still around. Any opinion yeah, whether he wants yeah. me to keep the mouth with the smirk on it or not? The uh, I made more. I tell Harker, but I bought these clothes to go on him. Gap with the teeth. Uh, name of Hill. Uh, what do you think about the? the Face there. Yeah, he just commented a little while ago. He should still be in here. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. What's the question you got for Name of Field? Oh, I asked uh, if he liked the the more of a smirk where the teeth are exposed, or whether I should go back to the other way. I, I saved a different version just in case he didn't like it. So does anybody else know who this is? No clue. <sighs> I don't do Warcraft stuff. Well, at least you know it's Warcraft. That's <laughs> well, who is I it? know Orcs are Orcs are Warcraft. They had that movie. Oh, Doro six. Two six says thrall for the horde. Yeah, that's right. Is that who it is? Thrall. Yep. Well, somebody got it. Thank you, sir. Well, I had no clue. Did, uh, did he give us an opinion on whether he liked it or not? Not yet. He did not. SDA says the green is whiter on there. There we go. Green is cool, but I can I can see the other one. He wants to see the other one. Go ahead and uh, make Canon uh, full screen if you don't care. Yep. Thank you, sir. Extreme close up. Me just a second, I'll pull. So, 
Dora626 uh, says, Cool story was a slave raised by humans became the leader of the horde. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He, well, he got his name because he was a slave. And uh, he led the orcs out okay. from the, the slavery. And the Kujano says, like, uh, Cobra looks like gold dust, just the roads. <laughs> gold dust. He brought the orcs back to the shamanistic roots. Gold dust? They're all. <laughs> I don't know what's been going on with him. I haven't played in like three or four years. Hmm. Uh, World of Warcraft? I haven't played that game in like. <laughs> when did it come out? <laughs> you see a lot of changes. It's the, the smirk, too, haven't you? The faces. Mm. Like I made the, the narrow. I made the, the nose a little bit narrower, and I, I <clears throat> adjusted the eyelids a little bit. I like, I like the look on the smirk head. It captures his cocky look when you see the pictures of him. Yeah. He looks cocky. I don't know the characters, but <coughs> look, it looks like ooh. In the drawing, he looks cocky. So I wound up and got a cape for uh, Medieval Spawn. Oh, yeah? Because I just wasn't happy with mine. Go with a grin. Okay. Well, you game. know what they say. If you gotta go, go with a smile. Oh. That's what Jack says. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Pick that cape up. Yeah. It's very nice. <clears throat> That's a crazy cape, man. It came with this little uh, fluff to go under his shoulder thing here. It also came mm -hmm. with these chains that wrap around his his leg. Don't tell Harker I bought that, too. <laughs> he hates when I, I, I acquire capes and stuff from Anywhere says, oh, an update. Gun, Gun Bunny Customs has a disassembly video on the trouble bubble. I think that presents more flight stand options once you take it apart. And SD oh, says cool. the medieval spawn is cool. <clears throat> I need to reach out to Gun Bunny. Uh, Hank Zolos keeps mentioning I, need, I uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I gotta check out his stuff. I've never really... I don't think I've seen any of his videos. You know, how, you know who he looks like now from the front? Who? It's like that, that uh, kid actor from... Uh, what was it? Tool Time or whatever? Yeah. Oh, Tim, the Tim the Tool Man Taylor, his son, his oldest. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One. Also, the little kid from the 100. Wasn't he in Transformers, oh, yeah. the first one? Peter? I don't know the character's name. I just know it. I've seen the actor. Ooh. Is that his name? In, I never, I've never seen the 100 games. I just seen the trailers. They don't look like anything I want to watch. Akuyinsko says the he thinks Cobra's chin should be flatter. Flatter? Like more narrow? Uh, oh, yeah, I think it might be need a little bit more pointier. Narrower on the sides and 
That would make it look a little pointier. When he turned a Fortnite boat into green water moccasin. <laughs> yeah, he's he uh, did a real good job on that. He's and he's not three print, he's scratch building with styrene. <laughs> Nothing against 3D printing. 3D printing is awesome, but it's impressive to build stuff out of styrene. Yeah. Doro says, I love watching how much time you guys take. Uh, lets me know to be patient when customizing. Definitely. No race. That's, well, that's one of the things that bugs me about a lot of the customizers and on her channels and stuff like that. They'll show like an edit time lapse last video, look, make it so you think, oh, this don't take a long time at all. And when you customize it, it takes a while to get everything. If, if you want a <coughs> quality piece, take your time. It takes a while. It's like I'm, I'm been here what's been past 30, 40 minutes stripping paint. <laughs> Well, guys, I got to get out of here. I am trying to fall asleep on you guys. Well, thank you for coming hanging out with us tonight and not falling asleep on, sleep on stream. <laughs> no, I snore like a fucking freight train. You'd know if I fell asleep. <laughs> you might need your CPAP. I have one. I've had one since, uh, since like 2009. Yeah, it's uh every time I'm in the VA, they always look at my readouts and stuff. Oh, good job I'm sleeping with him. I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't want to die. That me. I uh, although I've been thinking about that uh, the one that's non-surgical implantation. You know, they put it inside you and you just turn it on. Seems. Uh. Very do what uh, it's an internal CPAP machine. I've seen that. It's like I don't want something cut into my tissue, and uh, it holds up in the flap instead of uh, forcing air down your throat. I don't mind the air. <clears throat> oh, I do, it's terrible, it's relaxing to me. I can't. When I just when I'm just like chilling on my bed, going through like playing on my phone, just going through like Instagram and reading the fifty reels that fifty uh, for every friend I have, they send me every day. <laughs> I try to limit mine to five. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I appreciate it, guys. I'll uh, I always appreciate you letting me come on and. Send my shit and show my stuff. Yeah. I hope you have a good night. Good rest of the stream. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, take care, man. Take, take care. Take care, buddy. Slowly but surely, I'm getting the red off. And the blue off of the red. Hope to change my cameras. It's getting there. <sighs> A lot of stripping. Dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> Very good too to work on. I'm glad to. Somebody suggested to work on the show the butterfly joints. It's like. So this is the thumbnail. It's like on the on the video, like working on solar. It's like might as well like actually work on solar. <laughs> during the process of the during the time of the video. <clears throat> you're making another solar. That's what you're doing, right? Yep. It's a, it's it. I was gonna make one for Matt, and I got like that's a lot of work. I wanted to build it right off. <laughs> it take a while to get built. It's like Matt, you want the one I made? Is it sure? <laughs> oh, SDA says, 
I built two Optimus Primes completely out of styrene, and they transform. Oh, sweet. That's a lot of work. That's impressive. I sent Cannon a message of, was it last week? I think he avoided it like the plague. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't even really been on Instagram much. I think you gotta worry about Instagrams getting uh, Rick and rolled. If they start Same. to watch the reel, then bam, gotcha. So are you saying that he's trying to Rick roll me? Yeah. Possible. I send those out too. <laughs> The good one for you, like, you know, start, it's like, sounds, it's something interesting. You're sitting there watching it, and like, oh, like, what's going on? Did you just blank out there? Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't blank out. I think you blanked out. Oh, you guys both. I said I. I haven't even been on Instagram for like a while. Oh. It's been busy. I'm not. I'm not intentionally ignoring anybody. No. I, was, I was just uh, telling uh, Ken, you're probably trying to rick and roll. Uh, yeah, I bet planning out was nuts. <laughs> SDA talking about doing the prime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it took him a long time planning it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> What's funny is like uh, I almost came up with the concept of uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime when I was a kid. I actually s drew up a schematic and redesigned it and sent it to Hasbro. It was like a 12 inch tall Optimus Prime. Make him look more oh, like wow. a cartoon. And adding That's more articulation. I just saw uh, the toys that built, uh, I guess, th th those shows that are on all the time. And the toys that made us. Both the Transformers and the Go and the Go Bots. Well, there's a new one that's uh, on the History Channel. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Watched, that one I watched. I caught one today about the Transformers. Man, that was crazy. Tonka uh, bought the Go Bots. Mm -hmm. And the Japanese couldn't figure out why the Americans wanted stuff that was old in Japan already. Yeah. And both they both companies come up with their own fictions for those old properties. And Thank goodness Sumbo had the intelligence not to make the animation models look exactly like the toys. We got the character designs from the cartoon. The Tonka didn't do that. Well, there you go, bots. Well, we lost Hulk Smash. He was having connection issues. Yeah. You know, if Tonka made the figures look like the to the cartoon characters look like the toys. Huh. Are you back? Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Okay. Did anyone want to order the Azure Lion on 5K toys? Pretty dope. I have not. Uh, SDA says I'm planning on making it in Blender 2, uh, but I'm still a novice, like with Optimus Prime. It takes but, some uh, time if you, if you want to do it and make it articulated. Uh, SDA was saying uh, about the flatten out the curves on the chin, I'm guessing on the uh, Cobra. I thought that was a while ago. That might be it. 
I'll get caught up. <laughs> oh. Uh, it took me a long time, too, to build this. Mm. Uh, for reals, bros. Okay. I'm getting almost there. <clears throat> the prime, uh, primes are based on the MP1. Uh, MP1 is cool. Isn't it? Cool figure. That was so... That was... I remember the hype on that thing when they first showed the prototypes of that thing. Uh, Clutch Fist, I think I'm going to get the uh, not a, but the God version. It has a lot up head. I'm thinking about getting both of them on Bombus B. They're, you can get a good deal on those. I did something similar with Silverhawks. They sent me uh, back the letter saying they don't take submissions. Now we can make our own toys if uh, companies do it, don't do it right. It's very true. I got that. I found that drawing like it's been out of storage you know, one, uh, a while back. Let's see if I can find it again. I made a photocopy of it. Form it. My dad's friends was his CPA, the tax man, and they had a, had a photocopy machine. They let me use a photocopy of my artwork and color of it. The color in the originals. Yep, I did that as a kid. And then too, if you had a black and white comic book, I like a well, not black and white comic book though. Uh, Blackthorn Publishing, they had a 3D comic book for Transformers. Issue 3 had outstanding artwork. Best, some of the best Transformers artwork I've ever seen. Uh, but it was in 3D, so it's kind of hard to look at. But when you photocopy it, it only photocopies one color. So you can get clean pages. And I would uh, photocopy the entire book. And but actually, you use colored pencils and markers and color man. Um, New Hill said originally heard the villain and GoBots were uh, good guys. Yeah, they were like small robots. Uh, they were helper robots. For they were all on the same team. They're nothing like what what we saw almost got them all stripped off okay, get stripped okay, get the butterfly joints in so get those taken care of Time we got two twenty nine. Yeah. Here we go to three hour mark tonight. You all, you all get that? And somebody showed up late anyway. Doctor Pay or something. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out of the big checks you send me. Which I will be sending you a uh, snake eyes and your motorcycle parts. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, Collector Express, with your combo, with combo you get a, you get a staff that doesn't come with either figure? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll have to order the combo then. He says, and uh, lightning bolts, I think yellow. Nice. I've already wrangled in cannons, if you can maybe make me a hit for it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Machine Robo, that was the line. There you go. Uh, you know, 
That was the original line for GoBots. They brought them back a couple of years ago. They were making new figures. They're, they yeah. were small. Yeah. And they, their faces, uh, some of them didn't look like the cartoon. But like the Psych Hill was not a villain in that. He was just a, another <laughs> robot. Yeah, he was considered a good guy. Oh, yeah, and the Transformers, the originals, had little drivers with them. Yep, die cool. And they uh, they had to get rid of that. Yeah, the Transformers were mixed. Yeah, that's basically what it was. And then after they are like, okay, the drivers, they got no drivers. They go, that's ridiculous. So now you're going to have this empty space, and you're going to have mech, mechs with no driver, you know, nobody controlling them or whatever. And then they, oh, why don't we give them intelligence themselves? You know, and yeah. it's crazy how these things worked out. Oh, Sector says, what does shipping run on Bombus be? BBTS uh, has a combo for 164. Uh, it really depends. Sometimes it can be like just like 12, 15 bucks. Uh, <coughs> or less. Uh, let's see what my last order was. I got the three cassettes from Mastermind Creations. I got Steel Jaw, Eject, Rewind. I can tell you what the chicken was on those. That's three, three figures. <laughs> and then they gave them drivers again as headmasters. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, there we go. I ordered uh, my Thermax, uh, Motov, Pitch, and Tempo. It's Eject, uh, Rewind, Steel Jaw. Uh, shipping was $17.70. I think I'm <clears throat> getting creative fatigue here. I might need to stop for the evening before I screw something up. I understood. Sector says it's 105 without on that site, and I wouldn't think it would be 50 bucks. Oh. I feel like there's some stuff that I need to do, but I don't want to, like, uh, you know how when you get tired of working on something? You don't save as a chair? I don't want to save it as save, a chair. Save a chair over top of it? <laughs> No, I uh, I don't want to rush it and and make make it look not good. Yeah. Save your work. It's saved. Two different versions of it now. Of, uh, sure. Back in the day when I first when I, when I got in, was doing well, I was in school back in the early two thousands for graphic design. Your hand would hover over top of the control S. Yeah, because it would it would crash so often. Yes. Yeah. Do something, control S. Do something, control S. Do something, control S. Wow, that's nuts. That would be frustrating, man. I just got to be like a reflex action, like boom. Now you program they're like auto save and like a history and uh if they crash they get to like a restore features. Sometimes those work. Sometimes Yeah, sometimes. Do. Or that probably sometimes they'll restore to some way back when you were doing something earlier. Yeah, I just lost an hour's worth of work. Uh Doro66, have a good night, guys. You as well. Thanks for coming out. Have a good one. Uh, 
down the last little bit of blue paint. Come on, get out there. <laughs> yeah. This is all the further I was able to get on the ninja feet <clears throat> I was working on. <clears throat> it's just some souls, this again. Uh, there says, yeah, those Mac clones will lose your work <laughs> if you look at it the wrong if you looked at it wrong, or it sense you made a good design choice. <laughs> just, out, just out to get us. <clears throat> Rise of the machines, man. Somebody asked that. It's pretty cool, though. Here we can be Snake Mountain unboxing on Friday night's uh, Clicker Fusion. How did it go? It went pretty good. There's a lot of pieces to it, I think. More so than on Castle uh, Grace School. It's nice. It's bigger than Castle Grace School, too. Really? Yep. It's got a top piece that snaps on, so it makes it really tall. Sounds like they need to make Castle Grace all bigger. Well, the original rumor was what made, was disappointing when I got Castle, when they finally showed Castle Grace School. They were a rumor running about they were just going to re-release the uh, classics Grace School, then with just with less accessories to make it cheaper. But they decided to make a whole new castle that looks like the original one instead. been cooler if they made the classics. <laughs> Classic the ones in the box sells for over a grand now. Yeah. It's it's uh it's pretty impressive though. Yeah. No doubt, it's very impressive. I wish I didn't miss out on it when they were headed on clearance when they were closing down Mighty Collector. I missed out on all that stuff. I was so out of touch with what was going on at the time. Yeah. I was so busy doing real life. Yep. Yeah, that that thing. <laughs> uh, that's not fun. Well, you know. Well, you want to do that thing for? Got three wonderful kids out of it. Master's right. degree. There you go. And some might disagree with me, but I guess, you know, missing out on a few toys. Yeah. You know. If that's all it cost me. Okay.
I just need one little more round of Winter Newton and it's good to go, but I'm going to go ahead and prepare the shoulders and put those in first. So once I do the Winter Newton, I can't really touch it for the... What's the size like on the Snape Mountain? Uh, Name with Hell is asking if it would work with other figures. What would figures work with a uh, Snake Mountain? Oh, um, I got some classics standing over in front of it right now, and they look pretty good. Yeah. The uh, Origins, they call them a 5.5, but if you stand them up straight, they're basically like three to six inches tall, just bulky. Uh, stuff, uh, stubby, uh, stout looking. So you can really display other figures with it. You can actually display smaller figures with it too. The design works for multiple scales. Yeah. I left uh, poor Xavier's body in the water. <laughs> Oops. you making your own sentinel yeah i've been working on it for a while what's the scale gonna be i don't know depends on how ambitious i get it's gonna take a long time before i finish with the toe because it was my like i don't like i didn't like the way this looked i didn't like the way the bottom edge of the the uh thing here looked 
That's the issues the Sentinel turned out nice. Then uh, I decided I didn't like the way the top of this collar part here looked. <laughs> so, I like this pelvis, and I kind of like the way that this, you know, mid torso looks on the front. But then I, I'm reworking the, the upper part here. I liked those detailed parts back in there. I went and, did, went and made that piece, and I'll rework through some of that. That's my only issue with the walking body, the pizza oven with the amp crunch. Um, Which you don't have to worry about pizza, paper oven. <laughs> uh, this is true. Giant gaping hole in the chest. Well, I had a Vulcan body on my desk here, but apparently I don't. Yeah, I need to think about how I'm going to do Judge Dredd's arm right here, because I'm not like the way it's looking so far. <laughs> so I might, I might have to do what I did with, uh, with Don's and, uh, do a 3D scan of the figure and then make the armor stuff over the top of it. <clears throat> Point two is we got uh, once a good set of ankles. <laughs> it's my right ankle. <laughs> That's bad. Between, between the two of us, we got one good set. Yep. I had made a uh, Grendel trident for Don, but I don't see to be able to find it. Uh, Steve is asking if anyone subbed to Kato. Uh, he has a TFCon third party panel posted on his channel. No.
get an opportunity to get seeing all these scenes down too, including scenes. Uh huh. Finally got around to watching uh, Transformers Beast, I guess Beast Wars. Oh, the uh, Rise of the Rise of the Beast. Yeah, I, was a good, I liked it. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it yet. I love Transformers, and I watched it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't mind it at all. I don't know how some of these guys get the YouTube channels. They work full time jobs, got kids, and still pumping out videos like crazy. Like you're neglecting something other. <laughs> yeah, there's something. There's got to be something not getting attention. I mean, they might just have some good support. If you got, if you got somebody that has got your back and you know you got a good teammate make a big difference stop being rational <laughs> SDA says neglecting the wife neglecting the wife <laughs> or the kids Because you may have a good partner, but if the kids don't understand that. Or they might have one of those jobs where they just have a lot of free time. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> meetings upon meetings throughout the week. Then, they, then I got to work on the stuff from the meetings. <laughs> That's the fun part, though. Not the meetings. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying which one was the fun part. <laughs> I'll say not, I don't want to be on the record. <laughs> I'll go on the record. I hate meetings. I think they're a gigantic waste of time. And that very seldomly is there a meeting that's been held that couldn't have been an email. Because... And most of the meetings that I go to are just sit and get. It's like, here's this information. Yeah. Okay. Some meetings I go to, they are very productive. Uh, other meetings, not so much. Yeah. If, if you want me to, you know, discuss and respond to things, and it's like a legitimate, like, collaborative effort, that's, that's a worthwhile meeting to go to. But most of the meetings are just like, this is, you know, this is what's happening. So when, I, when I meet with the comm team, those are great. Great, they're very productive. We know what we're working on for the week. What I'm working on for the week. Other meetings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we got a red torso. Maybe SDA says maybe work from home too. Yeah, yeah that's possible. Uh, I do a lot of work from home too, but that means don't mean I don't get the that I get to goof off. I got a lot to do. Yeah. I'm a one of one type person and. and uh, my team, or if I'm not there, it don't get done. The stuff I work on. Yeah. They call it single point of failure. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's the easiest thing that YouTube froze up from him. Hmm. Froze up on him. No, I got, uh, I remember like a, last year when I about died from the internet infection. Yeah. That's one woman that in the, got mad because I couldn't update her stuff because I was in the hospital bed. <laughs> Did, really? did she know you were in the hospital? Yes. Who, the, uh, who do you think you are? Uh, that's where the single point of failure term came from. It's like, it was like, uh, like yeah. you know, that's really great. She said, "You don't say that about somebody that's about to die of their single point of failure." <laughs> that's not right. That's what that that's what that lady said. Uh, she, yeah, said I was a think single point of failure, but uh, more of sick. Uh, my my friend <clears> and <throat> her that she reminded you of a single point too. It's brown and has some like uh, striations around it, and it's called an asshole. Uh, unfortunately, I can't because they're like a, <laughs> they're well above me. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll do it. That's that is the most callous narcissistic thing I've ever heard somebody say. That's yeah, basically what the uh, uh, director out the lower workforce told her. Because they're basically saying that. Whatever it is that they're worried about is more important than me being a alive. human life. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got some nerve being sick. Uh, no. Before you went and got sick, you should have made sure everybody was updated. Yeah, I know. I should have checked in. So selfish yep. of you. You have to plan that stuff and put it on the calendar, sir. Well, that's what I'm saying. You shouldn't be so selfish and get sick on other people's clocks. In between my, my uh, see, uh, uh, chilling seizures, I should have made, made a note about that. Yeah. Well, don't let it happen well, you again. Don't... Now you know. Next time, don't get sick. <laughs> SDS, how dare you make them work for their paycheck? <clears throat> Ridiculous. Hmm. We just hit the three hour mark. Well, this... Yes, sir. And I got the torso all stripped. I got the butterfly oh. dogs back in. That's it, just needs to sit and basically re solidify the skin of it. That winter nuke that you use a lot that gets the surface a little soft. So you gotta let it sit and re, re solidify. You're just doing a white and quick, don't really affect anything, but you doing a ton of stripping like I did, you get the plastic soft. So, yeah. Alrighty. Well, everybody in the chat, thank you for coming and hanging out with us tonight. It's always a pleasure. And uh, oh, thanks for having me on again. I, absolutely glad to have you on here. Uh, you too, my friend, Hulk Smash. You know, you were really late. Yep. <laughs> it's been a single point of failure, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta start uh, I guess pay me a little bit more <laughs> alright guys you, uh, remember to do that wonderful YouTube stuff and like, share, comment, subscribe yep. we'll uh, catch y'all next time and remember this is the bye week where we don't have a Thursday show but we will be on Friday on the Collector Fusion uh, any suggestions on uh Feel free to make suggestions on what or on topics we want to talk about. 
And we'll catch you all next time. See you guys. Cheers. Peace.